All right, welcome back to the Teacher's Tech Bar. In this video, we're going to talk about adding the Grammarly extension to Safari. Grammarly extension is going to be awesome because it's going to allow you to use the full features of Grammarly right in your web browser. So in other words, if you write an email, if you write a comment, if you write an official note, you're not going to have to copy and paste that into Grammarly to check it. It's just you're going to have all the features pop up right in that text box. So let's go ahead and add that extension. First thing you're going to want to do is go to Safari extensions on Google and it will bring you to their Safari extensions gallery and you can just scroll down a little bit and type in Grammarly and it's going to give you the option to install. So once it's installed, it's going to pop up the Grammarly website and on the top right you can click log in. If, because we have all the accounts set up, you're just going to log in using your Gmail or continue with Google and use your Rivers account and you are good to go. So let's take a look at what it's like to use this extension when we go to write an official note. So here we have an official note box and I'm going to write in this Grammarly extension is helpful. And you can see that we have this circle here on the bottom right and if we click on that it's going to open up the Grammarly extension and every feature that's available to you uh, using Grammarly. So I'm going to click this error, click on that, close it back up, and now it's made that correction here. All right, so that's how you use the Grammarly extension. That's how you download it. Hopefully you find it helpful as you go to write comments, emails to parents, any external communication, internal communication, whatever it may be. Hopefully that you find this helpful throughout the year and potentially see how it could work for your students.